Nancy back again with a strategy or technique that you can use to add some beautiful texture and some pattern and design work underneath your encaustic pieces. So what I'm using here is what I call drawing and burning with wood glue. So wood glue you can just buy from hardware stores. It's got this goldeny yellow kind of color and I've put it into a, a squeeze bottle and applied it to my surface that way. So here I'm using just the acid-free mat board for the little pieces that I was sending off in the mail. Typically, I would use this technique on wood because of course, you can see that the second step after you've drawn in your pattern is to use a blowtorch and to essentially torch the wood glue. And what happens is you can see it bubbles and blisters and caramelizes in interesting ways. And of course, all around your pattern or design, it's going to burn or singe the surrounding areas. Now, I've drawn just a very kind of abstracted shape here, almost like a calligraphy inspired kind of mark. But you could do very representational drawing. I could actually do lettering. Here you see a couple of examples of just the wood glue and the burn on wood panels. I haven't worked these up yet. Uh, but I thought I would show them to you in progress. This one here, I did something a little bit different where I masked off areas on the wood panel using tape. Then I applied a lot of glue with a brush, removed the tape and did the burning technique to caramelize and blister that and then char the wood in the process. Here's another one, again, just using some really loose mark making. The other thing that's kind of nice about this technique is it gives you some raised areas, some kind of ridges that you're working with. Here I'm just sort of looking back at that original panel, deciding that I want a little bit more burn to it, and coming in again with the blowtorch. Now these techniques I would definitely do on concrete boards so it's not flammable, or do it outside and have your fire extinguisher or you know some water accessible. Um, you see here the finished little pieces and in the next video, number 18, I'm going to show you actually how I worked up that wood glue burn using layers of wax and pan pastel. So as I say, a great way to work with some texture, some pattern, some design. Um, really fun, so give it a chance. Have a great day.